I'd like to do today is just to continue drawing some more monster cheerleader girls. At the beginning of October, I kind of started Lucky Ink's prompt list of monster girl ideas, I guess. I don't know, prompts, that's probably a better word. So I've been kind of continuing it over on Instagram. I'm not posting like every day or anything, and I'm doing them mostly digital and it's been fun. And I'd like to do some more today. So I thought I would bring you along with me as I jump into my sketchbook and draw some more monster cheerleader girls. I still have the, um, from last time, these Lumiere metallic acrylic thingies, so if those end up coming in handy, I do just have them within reach. But first, what I need is a pencil and a prompt. If you're looking for the prompt list, I'll have it linked down below as well. You can go show Lucky Inks some love. We're putting together such a great prompt list. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I have been drawing some over on Instagram, but I've been kind of hopping around and skipping some of the ones that didn't seem quite as interesting and whatnot. So I'm going to continue that trend and maybe go back and do some of the ones that I'd previously skipped. So <laughs> next up is technically day nine and it is royalty. And the first thing that comes to mind is just like a pretty princess. But obviously I'm going to make them all cheerleaders because that's just been what I've been doing because it's been working for me so far. I also want to stay because I've been trying to draw them in a more chibi style where they have like really big heads and smaller bodies. And it's been fluctuating. It's been something I've been playing with, but I would like to continue that. Ooh, look at this, that Instagram pose where they put one foot up. That is the most stiff. Uh, yeah, restart please. So, big, round, strictly head. I also find it cute when I give them little dot eyeballs. Because I've kind of just been trying to find something that works for me so I can do as many as possible. I'm not going to commit to all 31 prompts, but if I can do more than less, that would be the goal. See? So if I can simplify the style a little, that works too. Also, for the ones that I have done digitally, I'll have a link down below if you want to color the line art or something. You know, cute little Halloween line art. Woo! I really should have drawn more of the body. I want something a bit more like movement based since cheerleaders are quite active individuals, I would say. Ooh, what if this foot's like up this way? <laughs> this is a wonderful posture. We gotta have room for the pom-poms, of course. I don't think I've gotten any better at drawing pom-poms. They're ex- <laughs> Exceedingly difficult to me, but I've been trying. I kind of try something a little different every time and it's still lackluster. <laughs> All right, so if she's royalty, so that's gonna be the name of her team. Royalty. And obviously there's gonna be like a crown. It's like a fairly odd pair. This ear's a little low. Let's see if I can scooch that up. I'm thinking long hair. Maybe something like a half updo that seems kind of princessy something real long and lots of bows or a crown. Is there such thing as a crown bow? Like a bow with a crown built in? I also want her to have like one of those all in one piece, maybe with a high neck. Maybe something with like a side stripe, an angled stripe. Ooh, what's this? That kind of makes me think of a tiger. <laughs> Do a tippy toe, pom poms. You can be the judge if they're <laughs> improving at all. <laughs> what if I give her puff sleeves? I've never seen a cheerleading outfit with puff sleeves because I feel like they'd get in the way. But like these like diagonal stripies are giving me too much like of a tiger and she's not a tiger. She's supposed to be royalty. Oh, you know that sideways one. What if I make it look like, you know, like those sashes the royals wear? <laughs> I don't know. They do it in movies. I don't know if it's a thing. Something like that. Is there like a big thing? <laughs> a big thing. And maybe, like we can have the high neck, so it's like all one piece, but then there's like a Bardot sort of styled neckline, even though it goes all the way up for activities. And then maybe like some lines that kind of sim simulate uh, like a corset. Okay, now she's just looking like <laughs> Aurora. There's a, knee. there's a knee here too. I'm thinking ponytail, actually. Something kind of soft and swoopy. Big, unrealistic, large, voluminous hair. And she has to wear a crown. I think that's just required. And then this like stripe that's here is just, it's not looking cheerleader enough. Maybe it's cause I don't have like a logo on her shirt yet, which we need to figure out as well. Maybe just shorten it and give it like more of a classic cut somewhere. I think I'm gonna change this knee. Let's try it. Lower, but still kind of swooshy. But cute. Also, this ponytail is not growing on me. I was hoping if I just left it there, I'd, it'd eventually grow on me, but that has not been the case. Hmm, maybe if I crop this. I don't know. It's just this huge sash thing. It's not very cheerleader-like. I'm gonna call it the royals instead of royalty. I'm just gonna make that decision. And we'll give like a crown here. 
Just a cartoony crown. <laughs> just trying to make it look more athletic. So like it's more designs on a cheerleader outfit than like an actual, I don't know what that's called. When like the dress folds over and that's like the sleeve. <laughs> Give her tights too. All right, I think that's probably it for the sketch. Now, since the other ones are more like spooky and this is our like pretty pretty princess, I think we have to really, really emphasize I feel like more feminine colors like pinks. So I'm gonna grab some of those and we can swatch them. I'll also make a little color key with all of every, uh, I can't speak. With some of the elements of the design so we can kind of see how they might look together. A similar pose is usually helpful too because then you can see the colors that overlap. We've got tea rose. Ooh, that's really pretty. This one's called pink. That's also very pretty. It's more dusky. I'm using a mix. Oh, that's very similar to T Rose. I'm using a mix of like Copic and Ohu markers. Just kind of swatch some until I see some things like. Ooh, yes, I want to use this. I wonder if I can use like T Rose for her skin tone. That way, it's like staying in the pink color scheme. This one's called Fruit Pink. Thinking that for hair. I'm thinking this for the outfit because it's so bright. Maybe white for the sash and lots of white. Maybe the white stripes or something. That's hot pink. Oh, I've so I didn't realize I had so many pink markers. I feel like I never used them. <laughs> I feel like these two would complement each other really well. This might be a little too purple. I'm thinking and then the circle thing. And then I said fruit pink for hair, maybe. It's pretty. I think I said tea rose for skin. It might be too pink. Yeah, it's kind of blending in with the hair. Maybe if I layer the hair color again. It'll look a little different. Okay, I'm loving the color scheme though. I like the whites and the pinks. It's different than any of the other ones I've done. But I guess the closest it is is kind of to bones. That's the previous video though, if you want to see that. All right, let's start with this one's the hair. Fruit pink is hair. Start there. That is a lot of hair. She's blessed in that department. Then I wanted T Rose. Oh, that really does not show up there. Probably layer that again. I think we'll be fine. Okay, that does not look as it does there. I think I need something lighter for the face. This is pink flamingo. It'll look a lot pinker. Maybe use the tea rose for blush. I want these stripes to kind of be pink. Just go for it. Maybe an extra. Just to make it look that more like athletic sort of vibe. Although that's too stripey. <gasps> that might be too stripey. Maybe make this one wider. It's like an elbow stripe. I think that saved it. And then we need some pink pom-poms. Use this for some shading. Maybe some pink earrings or something or eyeshadow and lips. Maybe pink shoelaces. It just needs a little pink. Just a little pink. <laughs> okay, so then we need liner. So I'm gonna use this Micron 03 and I'll just kind of go over all of it. It's a bit harsh for such a pastel looking design, but here we go. Can't go back now. Ooh, I kind of like it with the line art. Doesn't look like a crown. Oh, because this side's so high. It kind of like slanted. Oh well, now I know that that happened. And the leg, and the other side of the leg, and then the other one. <laughs> Keep the edges kind of like rugged. <laughs> I don't know. I've even been looking at references and I, I just don't know how to replicate it because they kind of have all those stringies. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying my best. Let's try some little gold accents. I still have that tray thing here. Little brush. Actually, I might need my nail art brushes for this. Let's try the little ball end first. Ooh, this works well. I think it just makes it look more um, expensive. Along this other stripe. Maybe make a gold stripe here somewhere. And maybe one on the end here. Of our elbow stripes. Fill in the crown too. I feel like some in the pom pom would be nice. Like a little flex of it. Yeah, this looks kind of cool. A little squigglies. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this as our first. It's not even a monster girl though. I just feel like she's the sort of like pretty one that just hangs out with the monsters for some reason. I feel like every story about monsters has that. All right, next one. What are we working on here? See, if I just do the ones that I've skipped, it's just gonna be like the most lame ones. We gotta do a good one. Let me look a little further down the list, if you know what I mean. Warrior. We could do warrior. I'm gonna start with a little thumbnail this time because I kind of want to do this more monstery because this was just a human. So I knew like the body proportions. I guess. So I'm thinking for this one, it's a monster. Uh, if I start small, what if it's got like big fists, big arms? That's what I mean. 
I'm thinking Jack Jack when he's a monster. So we need armor of some kind. Oh, but it's a cheerleader. <laughs> I just don't want it to look like a human in a costume either. What if we put like just a bunch of blood splats? <laughs> like they've um, won a battle. Ooh, what if it's sort of like Xena warrior princess? She's like an Amazon woman, isn't she? We could just do sort of body proportions like that. So maybe like broader shoulders or gladiator looking. Also want it to look a little bit like a cheerleader. Socks that go up to here, I'm thinking to kind of imitate boots. Maybe lots of browns for their color. See, the problem is I'm also trying to do sort of a chibier style, although this didn't really turn out that chibi, so that's fine. <laughs> Maybe that's not a problem then. I'm thinking short hair. Unless we want it to be more warrior princess. All constant flow of hair. Like the wind always hits it just right. So we went from like a monster to now just a large woman. Hmm, what if I just kind of draw? Maybe the pose can just be sort of warrior -y. I'm also thinking like a hand. A blood splot hand for makeup. I think we just, we need to get spooky here. We're not spooky enough. Look at those like hanging pieces. From like uh, gladiator times, whatever those are called. <laughs> There's gotta be a word for them, right? Oh, I wanted to hire socks because I just feel like that suits it better. Mm -hmm. Maybe do one of those like much higher crops. I also like the idea of like longer hair. I want that hand. <laughs> You won't be able to see the thumb Well, you know it's a hand. Maybe like a sword. <gasps> Ooh, the eye is part of the sword. I don't know if that works. Warriors. Ooh, this would be a good opportunity for the one arm. I want us you to be able to kind of see the like little booty shorts that are underneath the little flaps because as she moves, they're gonna like flippity floppity. So I just want you to be aware that there's something underneath. Redraw the shoes since they're just kind of like little sausages down there. <laughs> I feel like I could do better, making her look stronger. Okay, now for colors. I would really like to use like brown. So I'm gonna get out some of those and then we need like a blood color. Although like a crunchy dried blood color wouldn't be bad either. I'm gonna swatch some, that could work for some things. I do have quite a few browns, some lighter ones too. I didn't keep track of what any of these were, which was a really dumb decision. <laughs> Thinking I would really like to use this purpley one. And then I need like a dried blood color. That might be it. We could start there. A little like drips. This is her last victim's handprint day. Eh? <laughs> That's gross. I just wanted to see what that would look like. See if the idea was sound. And then I'll have to add line art to the face so that you see that again. What do we want for like a skin tone? I'm thinking something either like really pale and like desaturated or I don't know. It's called warm gray. That could work well for the outfit somewhere. Maybe as the sock color. So they look like they've been washed with the rest of the uh, battalion. Just some very dirty old looking sacks. So maybe we'll use this instead of white, so there'll be no white on okay, here. I want something really dark. My darkest brown. This one is called Cashew. And I can cover over some of this hand that I drew too much of. Okay, there. We got a hair. I wouldn't mind using this for these, but I bet I could use a different color. I'm thinking I want to use the purple one. The purpley, what's it called? Lipstick Natural. I'm thinking that for like the booty shorts. Let's try it. And something darker for the little tendrils. <laughs> Brown stripe, brown, and maybe, oh, something that looks like gauntlets would be cool. That one, that would leave that all white. We might have another brown. Oh, I could use the lipstick natural color. Try that. And that just sort of adds a little bit more warmth to it. <laughs> Ties in the blood. I think that would be good for the pom-poms as well. Leave the sneakers white. And I'll probably make them the off-white. So they wash them at the same time. <laughs> Okay, All right, we need a skin tone. Not that. Not that. Not that. Okay, what's this first one? Try this. Since it's so light, I can always layer it with something else. And then we need to add more blood splats, I think. <laughs> Ew! Alright, now we need some line. Our really browns out of the way. Might be kind of obvious, but this one's not bringing me quite as much joy. <laughs> the muted tones. The death. Mm, it's not really my cup of tea. Looks a lot better with a face though. Give it that much. And these two hickeys. I'm gonna just layer in some colors. I also would kind of like to see some of that cashew and maybe blend it with the carib cocoa. Just to create some gradient. 
That's nice. It's a little bit more, you know, war torn. You can also make the shorts gold. That wouldn't be too shabby. Then it's more like that cheerleader sort of showy vibe. Okay, that's all the line art. I do want to add gold though, definitely. I'm thinking spot there. Just, you know, prep it up. Pop, pep it up, pep it up. I think gold's pretty popular for sports teams anyway, so it works really well. Maybe I'll just fill this in and rewrite the word warriors. Since the colors are so different, I feel like we can get away with using gold in a very similar way to our Royals team. Ooh, you know what would be cool? Some kind of like hair piece. And I think I do want the booty shorts to be gold. Cool. I'm making that decision. Okay, this is coming together much nicer. It looks more sport teamy, you know? Not so crazy about the off-white. Could make them brown. <laughs> Let's try it. Use a little more of this. So it really shimmers when she shakes them for her team. <laughs> really like using this teeny tiny paintbrush. Ooh, that's so fun. There's like little beads and strings over here. Maybe there's some uh, reflective bits in the uniform. Ooh, it's shiny now. Okay, we still have space over here, so I would love to fill that. Let's check my prompt list. Next one up is Mystical Magical. Ooh, we could do like a witch. I'm gonna use the purple because the purple just seems like a really good color for a witch. Also, I've just done two like basically standing there poses and I'd like to do something a little more fun than that. What if we got like a pom-pom, the arm. This one's gonna be on the hips. Mystical, magical. I don't know what mystical really means. Like, does it mean something different than magical? Because I think I'm just gonna go with magical. You know what something we could do for witches is stripey tights, you know? You know? That would be really easy and would still be athletic to a certain extent. Yours. I really wanna give her a pointy hat, but that's not feasible. We could do green skin. I'll kind of make them look like a witch. Long straight hair, but I kind of just did that but this one doesn't catch the wind. <laughs> Obviously black. We need the uniform to be black. That's too jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> too jack-o'-lantern. Stick with my little tiny noses. I'm thinking high neck. Ooh, very Victorian elements. Poofy sleeve isn't really a possibility, is it? Maybe like a little brooch? What if we turn this into like a V-neck? As you see in cheerleader outfits. Oh, but then where does the brooch go? Maybe make it wider. I'm thinking this will be black. This will be our accent color, which might be sparkly green, I'm thinking. Which is with a Z. Which is because I ran out of space. <laughs> it's some kind of skirt. Oh, that's not. Uh, see, I'm getting torn between trying to make it too cheerleadery and too witchy. And I keep ending up making the decision to make it more cheerleadery, and then it's less witchy, and I'm not happy. I'll do really long hair. The gold, like, really sold this one. I'm really happy with that. We'll add another layer in a minute. I'm gonna make this look more Victorian. I feel like Victorian has like a shape that kind of comes upward, so we could maybe do that. We could do shorts, and there'd be a whole lot of tight action going on. It really needs a witch hat. Do I just go for it? I might just have to go for it and ignore practicality on that one, because none of the rest looks very witchy, you know? We could do poof sleeve. I didn't do it there, but I don't know. Maybe I'll do it here. With a piece that goes under, obviously. It just stops looking athletic real quick. I mean, I've done so many of these. We gotta we gotta make some changes, you know? We gotta come up with something, something different. I think and I do want a skirt though. We can use maybe the shorts on a different design. I just think the skirt stripe combo is necessary. <laughs> something a bit flowier. Pleated. I think that suits witches a little better. All right, let's add some color. I'm thinking the pom-poms will just be straight up green. So I can color those in with some kind of green color first. Oh, kind of want the skin to be a little bit green. That might work. Let's have something less saturated. Ooh, I kind of like that one. There's not a lot of skin showing. It's basically just the face. And then we're gonna need black. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna need some black. I don't like to use straight black if I can help it. That way, if I ever need to go darker somewhere, I can grab that 100 black, but otherwise I'd like to use a neutral. Gray usually works. This is my darkest. Oh, I have a cool gray seven. That would be darker. One. I'm gonna start with neutral gray six, and then we can always go darker on top of that. And I'm gonna leave a little space for the pleats. 
to add in our green and then I'm not sure how <gasps> you know we could do a witch's hat in the logo because now we have more space because I got rid of that stripe just a witch's hat on top maybe and a broomstick all right, now we're going to use neutral gray six. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna just color in anywhere that I want to be black. We'll figure that out in the line art, I think. <laughs> what the logo will really look like, but I just need to leave space for everything. And since this color is very dark, you also don't wanna like go over anything that you might want in a lighter color because there's not really a way to solve this. That may be white gel pen, but that can be finicky. I am kind of thinking no sleeves. We will see. Definitely the tights though. This is fun. I like this part. That really helps the look. Oh, well, there's more stripes on that side. Guess we're gonna have to add more white sneakers, I'm thinking. Ooh, maybe the hair we can use. This much darker black. I cannot really see the difference. This one's just a little bit cooler, which is why they call it cool gray. I'm thinking just black. Go all the way down to slim the arms a little. And that kind of makes it look that Victorian vibe where it has like the big poof and then it's straight down. <laughs> See here, we're gonna have a black hat and black hair potentially. So it's a good thing we have another option. I think we can color in these pom poms. This is also gonna be our shinier green. Let me get that ready. Would this one be better? What's this? Halo blue gold. Let's swatch them both right here just to see. So those are two options. Very similar. Could use them both and just see if they actually look any different. I'm gonna add a little gold buckle on this though. Grab one of these greens and color this in. Oh, this was a good idea because this has some gold flecks in it. Some of the pom poms. Does this one look any different? Does those even show up? I don't know. But yeah, something's definitely still missing. I'm gonna go ahead and do line art on the shoes. I guess legs as well. <laughs> Also, can grab like a little much lighter gray and a little shading just to make them look even rounder because they're legs, you know. And it's kind of green, which helps. Hair, I'm thinking we're gonna have to go in with black for that. And we'll try not to hit any of the wet paint along the way. Here we go. The hair will look greasier if we uh, let the ears kind of poke out. A little straggly on the ends, kind of good too, I think. Just a little wet. I'm gonna wait a little second for the rest to dry and then I want to add black to the pom-poms as well. And I can add line art wherever we've got some uh, dry marker. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't be able to see quite as much of the sketch as you still can. Do a little more angry eyebrows maybe. I'm gonna add a little turn on the hat because I think I can get away with it. I also feel like it needs a little blush. A little green blush. You want some smile lines or laugh lines or whatever? Okay, I hate that, but <laughs> gotta live with our choices. And that was a choice I made. Uh, I'm not liking this one. I know I kind of sort of said that about that one, but now this one looks amazing next to this one, which means I do not like this one. You know? You know how that works? Shadow <laughs> under the hat, maybe. Okay, well, well, well. We have space for one more, and I haven't decided which one we're gonna do. Um, fire. <gasps> you know what? I've got an idea. It's not gonna make any sense, but hear me out. Fire girl, who's just a flame, like the human torch, like that. Then she's in a cheerleader outfit. And I feel like her fist could just be flames like her head is. And that's more like a monster girl to me. And then her outfit will obviously just not burn because it's made out of non-burning materials. And I want the pom-poms to be flames. Hey, how's that for an idea? What color should I use though? I'm doing the flame a little inverted. Red would be at the center, wouldn't it? Glad I did this because these are not quite the right colors. Maybe more like little flecks of flame kind of poking off. <gasps> what if it's black with like, you know, like a car when it has those flames on the side of the car? Be like up one side and then black. I think that's gonna work. So let me draw it bigger and we'll see. Fire in the hair, little flame. Uh, pom pom. <laughs> Words escape me, clearly. I'm thinking this one will be here. We'll kind of go front of the outfit though. Going with like a superhero sort of pose. And the legs will just be more flame. Or maybe the ground will just kind of look like flame coming up from it. Let's do another turtleneck. Got a lot of those today. 
Fire squad. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking the outfit might just be all black or black with like a cool gray stripe somewhere. Cause the fire's gonna like be too close to the body, which is gonna be fire, you know? Does that make sense? Let me do the face a little, cause that's just gonna be kind of, need to do a lot of expressions with just shapes. I want to make sure it looks happy. So I guess we can color the whole thing in with a nice light yellow. And then we'll go from there. We'll figure out the outfit last, because I just want to get the fire to a place where it looks like fire, I guess. And then I think I'm going to be in a pretty good mood, because that seems tricky. <laughs> okay, next we're going to need to go into the center, start building up something a little darker. Oh, that was not the right yellow. I didn't want to use that. Ah, a little bit more warm. The other one was a little desaturated, you know. Next up is orange. Ooh, these little dots are kind of cute. They're almost like freckles. And then red. You see how it gets darker around the mouth? It, like the more brighter the face and the eyes kind of start to look. Isn't that cute? Kind of blend that. I want to add more color to like the legs and stuff. If it gets cool enough. Cool. Cool toned enough, I guess. But we do need to add in the black. Oh, you know what we can do? Draw in our little flames. And the top of that will be black. Just trace along that. Does that look like flame? It kinda doesn't. Also a little line art might help. Be something more refined in here too. Kinda works. Might be too red. It's almost like it needed to be more yellow. I'm learning things, I'm learning things. I want this one to be more of a cartoony looking flame because it's like their logo. I think I'll just color it all in black. I'm thinking, I was thinking about adding more of those fake flamies, but I think I kind of just want it to be more simple. Okay, we will need a little line art everywhere though. Let's kind of look like an explosion right here. Ooh, a little smoke I feel like would look cool too. This arm. You draw in a little fire logo. You just write fire with red pen. Maybe a little white gel pen right there. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Should we try a little smoke? What's my lightest gray? Cool gray two. I think that's just too dark. I have cool gray zero zero. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. A little, little smoke up here. Little circle emotions. Where there's smoke, there's fire. That's their slogan when they score point. Here we go. All right, I think that is gonna do it. I really like how happy this girl is. Oh, I'm so glad I stuck to it because I was not in a great place until this one. But then we stuck through it. We got this and I am much happier now. I also still really like this little sketch. I don't know if I said anything about it at the time, but I really like that. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed Come along with me as I drew a couple more monster girls. I feel like this is really the only monster. I could give her like big teeth or something. There, now she's a monster. <laughs> but yes, I'll have a link in the description to the prompt list if you'd like to do something with that yourself. Also, I'm posting on Instagram some like digital monster girls if you're interested in checking those out as well. I've been having a lot more fun with that and that's kind of like my guilty pleasure. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening. Follow waffles. Bye!